Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm planning my Erin Condren Vertical Neutral and I'm using this kit called Suggle, Snuggle Season from SPC which is a set that I drew for my shop and um, I originally did a copper but um, Andre changed it to silver and I think it came out really pretty just because silver is the most shiny of foil and of course I have plenty of foil in this um, I love Scribble Prints Co, that Sadie stickers sort of twinkle, um, some Sadie stickers date covers, a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to play some music over the base and the pre-planning, which is a little bit messed up. I did the top um, deco across the top out of order, so I kind of just put it back into order, but you'll see. <laughs> It'll all make sense in the end. I also use a lot of caress press foil. But yes, this is the week of Christmas, let's get through it and we'll talk about how the week went. Oh, bring us a bigger prudent Oh, bring us a bigger 
And now we're done with the official um, pre-planning. So let's get into it. I did stop planning this on the Monday. So I got a bunch of happy mail, like five different things, I think, lots of stickers and stuff. So that was very nice to have a bunch of happy mail. And then we just got back again because we were lazy that day. I did a bunch of filming, grocery run, just a typical day, got the last lot of groceries before. All the shops would be sort of closed. I mean, they weren't closed, closed <laughs> over Christmas, but you know, closed enough. Because um, here in Finland, same as in Australia, um, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day, which is the day after Christmas, are uh, usually public holidays, days off. Um, although I think Boxing Day here is St. Stephen's Day. I don't know. I could be wrong. Question mark? <laughs> And then I was super duper tired on Monday, so I went to bed early. Then it was Christmas Eve. I can't remember what I put in here anymore. So we'll, um, what happened this week? You know, it's the, the weeks around Christmas that you just sort of totally lose, <laughs> honestly. Oh yes, I want to mark that I had gingerbread a latte, of course. Have to have that in the um, Christmas season, holiday season. All right, no, what? I'm very confused. <laughs> I used a coffee sticker for my feelings. I think I was in the feelings about something. Over, over coffee and breakfast. I, will, I was in my feelings, yes. <laughs> I'm very confused right now. <laughs> I feel like I planned this a billion years ago, but it literally was just the other day. Like, it's Sunday that I'm doing this voiceover, so... I think I remember what I put in my planner, but no. Nope. Um, but yeah, the coffee cup was from Hello Petite Paper, and that and then I did some filming, and that little um, reindeer donuts from Paper and Milk. What I filmed, oh, I would have been filming um, finishing up my advent calendars because I'd been opening them, opening them up. So I did a whole lot of. Um, finishing that up and oh yeah happy mail on Monday was my Sadie stickers advent calendar that's how late it ended up being uh, because of the strike postal strike beer yeah. so I filmed uh, opening a whole bunch of all of that on Christmas Eve and finishing that video up and it is on my channel if you want to see my advent openings and then I watched Fred Claus I really enjoy that Christmas film despite some of the people in it <laughs> kind of ruining it but oh well and then I realized I'd already used that munchkin for the Christmas Eve sticker so I changed it <laughs> and it makes more sense because Fred Claus is about the brother of Santa Claus if you've never watched it 
We like Vince Vaughn. It's very Vince Vaughn. So, I enjoy his humor. So that was what I watched. And, sorry, I keep doing, um, going into Brian Butterfield voice. <laughs> Give me a like if you know what that reference is. So here I was doing a little bit of pre-planning for Christmas e Christmas Day. And I really liked how I used that um, divider sticker from um, Paper Shire to mark Christmas Day. I thought it turned out really pretty and sort of really festive uh, outline, you know, highlighting what the day was. So she used these little once more love um, Christmas couples watching TV because, you know, we plan to watch films and things. And we'll get back into, um, uh, into, what is it? What is, what is this called? Oh my gosh. It's the end of the year brain, you guys. Um, back into frame in a second. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then I just wanted to mark putting in Christmas dinner. And Christmas dinner is really good. We just roasted a chicken and it was like pre-season and stuff. We've been getting the chicken for ages now. Like this would be safe. It always cooks up perfectly. And then we did roast potatoes with the chicken. So those are delicious. And we roasted some swede and carrot. And then we also um, we fried some Brussels sprouts and we cooked up in vinegar some red cabbage. So lots of delicious um, Lots and lots of vegetables on our plate. And then we did a little bit of chicken gravy at the end as well. But that turned out really delicious. And we had plenty of leftovers for the week. But yeah, that was our, um, our simple Christmas dinner. I think it turned out really delicious. I'm just putting in Boxing Day. And then my hometown, Adelaide, it's Proclamation Day. <laughs> Um, and then just putting in my usual email supervisors, already doing some more pre-planning here. I just did everything out of order, honestly. What am I pre-planning? We'll get back to what I was actually doing soon. <laughs> oh, doing some work. But yes, I did a, a lot of this week out of order. This is how I would usually plan without filming. I'd be all over the place, honestly. Since starting to film plan as I go and try and do it day by day, but it's hard. <laughs> I completely forgot this week. And then I just wanted to mark that I would be doing um, a new releases on Sunday, which I did. My new set called Baby Mine. It is a baby art collection. So check out my shop linked below on Etsy if you want to check out that clip art and some stores have already gotten it started using it which is great obviously scribble prince co <laughs> has made something of it it's on her instagram but yeah super exciting glad to have gotten that art done i didn't edit re didn't really edit this um part of the video <laughs> what else was the christmas hmm but yeah i really love red claws that was good Although it didn't have, obviously, a sticker for it. <laughs> and I love this little Santa mug from Paper Shy. So cute. And then she sees the new releases um, sticker from School of Prince Girl. Alright, so this section of the plan with me. It's a bit later in the week and Heidi was just with me basically the whole time. Lying very much in the frame. So I'm kind of leaning around and kind of playing with the one hand. <laughs> but you get to enjoy a little Heidi nose and face. So... You know, I ah, yeah. so uh, and after Fred Claus, I watched Arthur Christmas, which is always on Netflix. I love it; such a cute film. It came out in two thousand eleven, so it's like my favorite sort of. I've been an adult for this film, Christmas film, and I made that script myself last year. They are so adorable. Love Arthur Christmas. Love anything with James McAvoy. He's great. And then I baked some yolo totut, which is like Christmas pies, Christmas little Danish tarts from um, Finland. I baked my own, which was really nice. And then Christmas Day, we watched The Santa Claus. And then also our favorite gaming channel, Triple Jump, posted a huge um, 
Like, they got a whole bunch of Christmas mail and games to play with and stuff from their viewers. So they did a big um, haul opening for Christmas Day. And that was three hours long, so we watched that while eating and for the rest of the night. So that was really good. That's pretty much our Christmas. <laughs> Just hanging out with each other, cooking, eating food, and hanging out with uh, the Triple Jump boys. <laughs> What more could you want? Uh, we didn't really do presents this year. We did get gifts from my mother-in-law. She sent some. And they were hilarious, like Christmas beanies. So Luck got a Christmas tree and I got a Christmas pudding. <laughs> um, but otherwise, we've just sort of gotten bigger items for each other. Like my new desk and a printer and stuff like that. So super simple. Didn't really have to do the whole gift exchange. Then we're up late on Christmas, I think. So we slept in on Boxing Day because that's what you do. You sleep in. <laughs> now what else did happen on Boxing Day then? <laughs> I'm just watching Heidi sleeping in front of me right now. She's very cute. I want to snuggle her. Snug. Just rubbed her belly. And now I've woken her up. <laughs> And she's stretching. Yep. <laughs> it's a riveting plan with me today, I'm sorry. On Boxing Day, we uh, I baked some more of those Yolo Toto because I had a bunch of pastry left over for it. So I baked a bunch of others. I actually got uh, Luck's mother-in-law sent us some jars of um, fruit mints for that you make mince pies out of. Um, which they don't have here at all in Finland and being like English based <laughs> in Australia there's mince pies everywhere there so it's like a jar of the filling to make your own but I put that into the Yolo Tortut instead of their usual like prune jam and it was so good like little little puff pastry mince pies so delicious so that's what I was doing Boxing Day then I made a big decision, which I'm saying here, and I, oh, I couldn't spell decision off the top of my head. I had to remind myself. Is I made a big decision that I need to go back to Australia uh, for a couple of months to just complete my PhD in person and just get it done. So that is happening soon. Um, I'm looking at leaving on the 13th of January. But we'll talk about that a bit later, um, what, to, what I'll be doing with my YouTube channel, etc. I should still have videos up. I'm doing a typical, uh, different plan for what I did last year. So, uh, well, at the start of this year, yeah, when I went <laughs> back. But anyway, so yes, I decided I'm gonna do that. And then we watched. Um, this is out of order, but we watched Joker, and uh, because it finally came up online and it was really good. I kind of annoyed I enjoyed it because I don't care about that director, but I really enjoyed it. And then we watched Mission Impossible Fallout, which was really fun and interesting. Always a fun action film, and I loved Henry Cavill in it. <laughs> and, you know, his arm, like, pump. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Um, this is usually the time that we catch up on all the movies that we missed out during the year, basically. And then Friday, um, well, on Friday, Saturday, I just did a bunch of drawing for my set to release on Sunday and then we also ended up oh let's watch um we hadn't watched any of the tv show the season one of Watchmen and we really love the Watchmen film so we're like let's finally catch um catch this it's finished so let's catch up with it and Friday night we just ended up watching the entire show <laughs> uh, as you can see here sorry the camera messed up um, so I wasn't able to capture what I did there. But, um, you know, we binge watched the entire Watchmen season one. I thought it was really, really good up until the last episode, which kind of lets it down a little. But still excited to see more. But it was, it was just fascinating um, and really interesting way that they discussed slavery and, well, not, I guess slavery, but more like white supremacy and the riots and uh, race riots in the 1920s and just the prevalence of the KKK and reemergence and stuff like that which is really interesting to put into the TV show 
Um, yeah, so that was really good in that sense. If you want to watch it for that, it is awesome. Um, so I really enjoyed that. And then Saturday I had some anxiety about having made that big decision. You know, I had to fly and blah 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 and have to pay a lot of money for hotels and things because I don't really have anywhere to stay, so yeah. Did the dishes and then I was up late um, drawing. <laughs> But I got the uh, new releases done and out on Sunday morning. And then um, I just planned out the flights I'm going to do, planned out the airline and stuff. I'm not going to fly the usual way. I'm going to fly a different way, so I'm excited for that. Because honestly, I'm really tired of flying Qatar. I just, I don't like their airport in Doha. And the flights are just meh, so I'm doing differently. I'm doing Finnair and Cathay through Hong Kong so I'm excited for that. Um, and then uh, Sunday it's today I painted my nails, I filmed, edited. I put voiceover on Monday pre-planning next week but I'm doing it now instead. But oh well. <laughs> no biggie. And then I watched The Ridge. Just putting that in the last of the Christmas stuff. So that was my spread for Christmas week. I hope you had a, a great week. Um, let me know what you got up to. What did you have uh, for the, eat, to eat for dinner or lunch or brunch? Whatever you do, if you celebrate. If you didn't celebrate it, I hope you had a wonderful week anyway. I'm really excited. Um, today my 2020 setup went up, but it's kind of changing now because of the Aura Estelle Cloud A5 Wide which hopefully will be in the mail. will be delivered this week and we'll see what we could do. But So going forward, there might not be as many Aaron Condren spreads. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, but we'll see what I have left. But this is the completed spread. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Um, yeah, otherwise, hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye!